Uh, I was, recently, you know, we just had the NFL draft. You know, mm-hmm. as a wrestler, we don't get we don't really get exposed ex- exposure to that kind of thing, or there's no draft for us to become professionals. So, um, just like, what is it like that excitement of knowing, like, I mean, you got picked 39th overall in the draft, so you most likely knew you were getting picked up. What's that feeling like going into that draft or that? that week where you know you're going to be entering the NFL and it's just like, where am I going to end up kind of thing? Well, it's interesting. Everybody has their own way of handling it. Um, I was fortunate to have a good support group. You know, back home in Queens, uh, my support group would humble me pretty quickly after every game. Um, Even my teammates. Uh, My teammates kept me humble. My roommate, Rob Seeger, he was the best. He He was probably the best guy for me throughout my whole that whole junior senior year process because he's a level-headed guy um lives in reality and there was times where i would be pulled out of reality and have to get back pulled in and he was helpful in that family was helpful in that and i just looked at it this way you know i was fortunate when i played that i had that support group would come to every every game every game 75 deep 75 tickets tailgates the whole nine and uh I thought it was more for them than it was for me because I was going I was going to go through the journey and I was going to be in the journey. But they lived their life around that journey. And it was more important to me for me to have them highlighted at the time. So I literally just stayed home. Uh, you guys know Fooch, right? Yeah. So Fooch actually covered it yeah. for MSG at the time. So Fooch is the only Rutgers and you know guy from this culture right now that was there with me yeah. and celebrated with me and uh it was great it was great for the family it was great for my friends it was great for my neighborhood uh it was great for me because i got paid yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh no nah, listen it was it was a great experience i loved it um the result of where i went it was interesting my agent at the time was like hey this is probably not the team you want to go to the Bengals at the time yeah. But uh, you make the best out of it. You make the best out of it. And I will say this, with, today, with, with today's situation, um, the draft, they did a really good job. And I think that the job that was overlooked was that the kids were forced to stay with their families. See, I'm not a big fan of the guys who go to you know, Paramount, yeah, yeah. MSG, Chicago, sit there with their gold, their fancy suits. Listen, that changes in an instant when you get to training camp. Those guys... They don't last. 